I've got a number of senators that are clients, and I, I joke with them. I, I, it's you've got four years to govern in two years because it's a six-year term. You got four years to govern in two years for politics, and I think what we, what you're seeing here right now is the final gasp of the political aspect of democracy. That it is not a it it is it is a contact sport, and in order to govern, in order to make change, if you believe strongly in the public policy issues that you're pushing, you've got to win the election. So I totally, as a, as a father who's coached both of his, his kids' sports teams, I get it. And it really was important to me to make sure everyone played. Um, but those are rec leagues. And then I watch my friends who are, te are, are coaching their kids in the travel leagues. It's a whole different game. Like, they just want to win. And I think that's the, that's the difference here. I think local politics, state politics to a certain extent um, is, a, is a little more genteel. And I, I don't know if this is a right answer or a wrong answer, but in the last kind of months of a presidential campaign, you do pull it all out. Winning is about long term, right? And I want to have assurances about the direction long term, so I want to win. That way I have assurances because I believe Women should get paid equally, so I need to win so that I can move down a path to ensure that women get paid equally, for example, right? Rather than the other guy who has no policy on this or no opinion on it, right? The balance is if I win, then I'm, that it's in the interest of long term. The second part of it, though, is the at, all, at what cost. I think that is, um, to be honest with you, what I'm grappling with as an American, not as a politico or as a Democrat. The extent, the extent we're going to now in order to win, that you're going to lie and make up stories to get the media focused, you know, and people now, their lives are in danger because you're lying about them eating dogs and cats. You might not like the rhetoric. You might not like the way that the conversation goes. Um, and it's messy and it's ugly. And to quote Winston Churchill, it, you know, it's a terrible system, but it's the best system that we know. So I would much rather live in a democracy that every four years has this kind of uh, cardiac event than to live in an autocratic system or in a, in a place where you just have no other choice. So it's not great. It's, it's terrible to explain it to your children. I get it, but it's, you know, it's the best system that we have. And I, and I appreciate, and I will say this about Ashley, I appreciate that we've got practitioners on both sides of the aisle. We'll fight right now, but we both care about this country, and we both care about democracy, and we both want the best for our children and for everybody else that we know, and that's why we're so passionate about this. The parties will go as far as they go to win. You know, I used, again, I, I ran communications for Pelosi, and she, you know, canceled Joe Biden's presidency. I mean, like that. I mean, it's, it was kind of incredible. But from her perspective, I had to go that far to that extent in the interest of the country, right? And so sometimes it's a positive thing. And then in other, we're going so far down the path, I'm not so sure how we come back. Do you know what I mean? How do you get, convey a message to your kids that really this is about developing your character and not about winning? But I think we, it's something that we have to, as citizens, take control of, and we have to draw the line. Just as the parents, to your point, have to say to the coaches, enough. Do you know what I mean? And that's what we have to do. And we're not doing that. You know, I don't hear citizens say often enough on television, by the way, I'm not really into the line. Let's just be honest. I don't, I don't even want to know a liar, let alone a liar run my country. I'll close with uh, something that an Irish politician I've worked for said to me early on in my career in politics. He said, there are two kinds of people here, people who think politics is a game and people who think it's for real. And you've got to learn to sort out which is which. So with that thought, we're closing for the night. <laughs>